Today, I'm gonna to show you how we use our Thunder Aurora Fiber Laser to create some pretty cool custom products like this. So keep in mind, this is a customer job and our customer brought us this box of these metal tins. He's using these little tins to make fire starter kits or whatever, so a label on it would just burn off because people are gonna be using this tin. So laser engraving is pretty much the perfect way to label these. By the way, if you're interested in picking up some of the metal tins like this, I will leave a link to them down in the description of this video. Now let me show you the settings that we use on our Aurora 20 watt fiber laser. So I have the file opened up in Lightburn, so let me show you our settings. I do have a tool mark here just for the size of this tin. That way I can frame it and know that I have it positioned correctly. And then I have the logo in the center. So for this logo, this is the settings that we're using. We're using a speed of 1500 millimeters per second, frequency of 20 kilohertz, and we're only doing this at 40% power. You can see here I have lines per inch at 254, uh, which makes this a line interval of 0.1. Uh, scan angle 45, we're only gonna do one pass on this. And I also have crosshatch turned on. But before we engrave this, we do want to focus on this. So make sure you put the tin underneath the little focus uh, laser dot and then hit autofocus. and it should be focused on it. Next, we go to light burn and hit frame. Now you can see on the laser bed where the laser is showing the tool around it, so that should be just right for this tin. If you need to adjust the design up or down, a quick shortcut is use the up and down arrow keys. By tapping the keys, you can move it just a small bit at a time until you get it positioned exactly where you want it. Since I am gonna be doing several of these tins, I did install a little guide here on the side as well as a guide on the top. That way it will be easy for me to align all of these, uh, just repeat and just stick it up there where it needs to be. Instead of having the door closed, I will be leaving it open for this engrave. But keep in mind, I am wearing my safety glasses for this. Now that the position and everything is correct, all we have to do is press start in light burn. You are watching this real time. This is not sped up. This is gonna be a pretty quick engrave. Like I said, it is a light engraving, but uh, this is what the customer wanted. So you can see what this looks like when it's finished. And now it is finished. It took about 57 seconds for that. So as you can see, this is how it comes out on the engraving and it looks pretty cool. I am gonna wipe over it here just to clean it off. And I think this turned out looking pretty cool here. Now all I have to do is repeat this several times, which is where these guides come in very handy. So just get it positioned and hit start. And that is how you take a simple metal tin and turn it into a custom product. If you enjoyed this video, then you're probably also going to like that video as well. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.